Hey guys, it's Keisha here, and today I want to show you how to make this felt flower. I don't have a name for it, so I will get back to you on that. But let's just go ahead and get started. First, we'll go through our supplies. I use one uh, sheet of 9 by 12 wool felt from Benzie Felt on Etsy. I will include a link below. You don't use all of it for one flower. Um, you'll need a piece of floral wire. You don't technically need this. I like to build my flowers on wire, but you can do them without. Um, and you'll just do the center piece like I show you, but without putting it, adhering it to the wire. My favorite scissors are these Havel scissors. I get them on Amazon and I will include a link below. They are curved and they cut right to the tip, so they make cutting petals pretty seamless and easy. I also use a big shears like this. Um, it springs open to cut my strips, as you will see. And last but not least, a hot glue gun. Mine's old and dingy and well-loved. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is cut our strips. I have a ruler here for reference. I found that a lot of tutorials don't show how big they're making their petals and that frustrates me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my first strip and I'm cutting this I would say right at three quarters of an inch or smaller. Next I'm going to cut one about an actually, actually about exactly an inch in width. And you're gonna get a couple of flowers out of these strips. You're not gonna use all of this for even one flower. And then my largest petals for this flower, I cut about one and a half inches. Okay, set that aside. I now have three strips. And now we're going to cut these into rectangles. Start with my big one here, and they don't have to be perfect. But I make them roughly, I would say, between 5 eighths and 7 eighths wide. I like to vary them up a little bit because flowers aren't perfect and I think that's what makes them beautiful and here okay so I've got a stack of big rectangles move on to the next one here going to leave a flat base and trim off. Then we're going to start up here and curve the top. And then come back down and take that in again. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is create that inner section of our flower. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun, prepare to get really good at cooling off glue on your fingers because it's inevitable that you will probably get hot glue. I'm just going to dab glue at the base of my petal here. I'm going to take my stem. I'm going to pinch it, and I like to 
and kind of twist it around. Kind of twists it a little bit um, as far as looks go, but it also cools the glue off and keeps it from completely burning. Okay, next we're going to take another of our small petals, and I often will set my pieces on before gluing them just to see what it looks like to kind of figure out how I want that to look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the side there. I'll glue my base. I'm going to take a couple more of my small petals. So now we can move those tiny pieces out of the way. And now we're going to move on to our middle size pieces. So you're basically going to continue the same approach. I like to sort mine a little bit and kind of find my smaller, smaller of the medium pieces and my larger of the medium pieces or longer, fatter. Um, you'll kind of get the hang of how you want your flower to look after you make a couple. Once again, glue at the base, a little bit higher maybe on this one, depending on how much you want the petals to be able to flex back. You can see I'm going a little bit below where those ones are, just to grab on. And so depending on where you um, place those petals at the base, that's really gonna determine the shape of your flower, if it is always coming to center at the stem or if it's building out but it's all staying aligned here I'm getting a little bit lower each time okay do another one at the base here and go across from that one Already died. So I just placed another petal right here in between those two that I'd already placed. And then I'm going to put about two petals on this side here. you could totally stop and this could be your flower a cute little petite flower there but now we're gonna go on to the next size if you wanted to you could continue on with this size petal and do another row around the outside maybe put seven around the outside you know what? let's go ahead and do that why not I think it'll be pretty
Now we're going to go into our largest size. Adding my glue. You could continue with one and a half inch petals all the way around, just making it even wider in diameter. You could even go ahead and cut out uh, two inch petals and just continue getting bigger and bigger um, and just building on from there. So you can see this one is about an inch and a half in depth and about two and a quarter inches wide. And from the three strips that we cut out, we used up all of our medium size petals. We have two of our large petals left and five of our tiny ones with a tiny little scrap left over. So I would go ahead and cut out one more large row and a medium row to make another flower. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe.